Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys can tell by the background of the video, we're outside today, just switching it up a little bit. I ended up visiting the Fix Kicks and they had the Gratitude 11s. So I figured I'll bring you guys an early review. So without any further ado, let's check out the Gratitude 11s dropping in 2023. Starting off with the box of the shoe, we are getting a different kind of box that we haven't seen before. So this one has a black top with the gold Jordan Jumpman and the bottom of the box has a nice hit of white. Very similar to the shoes. And then on the side, we're also going to get that gold 23, but we're not here for the box. We're here for the 11s, one of the most anticipated sneaker releases of the year. Usually Jordan Brand hits us with a Jordan 11 during holiday season, so this year's is the Gratitude 11. Woo, man, these are clean. Now I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews on this pair right here, and there are gonna be some points where I'm just gonna kind of ramble off and just start yapping, because this shoe right here has some sort of sentimental value to me, or it kind of has that like, nostalgic feeling. If you've been in the game for over 10 years, this shoe right here would probably bring you guys back some memories. Now, when I take a look at this shoe, I'm looking at a DMP kind of vibe, and I'm also getting a Concord 11 kind of vibe, basically mashed into one shoe. When I was in high school, the 2011 Concord 11s were dropping, and I remember I wanted those shoes like no one else. And I feel like back then, collecting sneakers wasn't all hyped it wasn't mainstream it was like if you told somebody that you collected sneakers it was either like oh that's cool kind of vibe or what like why do you collect sneakers kind of vibe you know what i mean so back then when the concord 11s came out it was basically hitting like a whole bunch of news outlets saying that this sneaker right here is one of the hyped releases this is one where people are lining up and eventually unfortunately some people lost their lives over some jordan 11s so i remember all of this as a kid and when i saw that kind of like craziness that surrounded the sneaker game i was like dude this is there's a lot of people that aren't even into sneakers getting into it because of the concord 11s so when i see this shoe right here it kind of brings me back to that era like it brings me back to that high school feeling where i really really wanted this shoe i didn't have the money for it but i ended up saving up cutting a lot of lawns and i ended up buying them that's what i get when i see this sneaker right here let me save the rambling for the rest of the video let's get into the breakdown of this shoe starting off with the bottom of the shoe we have a milky outsole this milky outsole is very similar to the 7210 Jordan 11s. I know some people weren't feeling this because they wanted that icy blue outsole and I feel that. I feel that a lot. But I honestly think that this isn't a bad look either. I also do have the DMP 11s here with me. So I'll bring them out a little bit later to do a comparison for you guys. But yeah, that milky outsole I know was like a deal breaker for a lot of people. But you guys let me know what you think. Are y'all feeling the milky outsole? I don't mind it. It's not a deal breaker for me. Just this shoe right here is just, it's a beautiful looking shoe and I'm honestly hyped about it. Now I know Jordan Brand has been releasing shoes that are a little bit higher and on the price point. And for most of them, I'm kind of like, man, that, that shoe's not even worth that, that type of money. But for this shoe right here, a Jordan 11 going for around the same price as retail price right now on stock X, I got to say that's not a bad deal for a pair of clean air Jordan 11s. If these dropped five years ago, you know that they'd be hitting for like 350, 400. But now even before the release date, these shoes are going for around retail price. So that's a good sign. There have been rumors that there's gonna be a million pairs of these, which is a lot of pairs. But I think in normal Air Jordan 11 fashion, they are going to sell out as usual. If you guys are looking for like toddler sizes or kid sizes, they might sit for the first day or so. But online, they should sell out. But yeah, today I was able to get early access on this pair right here via the sneakers app. So it was a pretty easy cop for me. And I think this is like the third or second drop that they've done prior to the actual release date. So if you guys are digging this shoe right here, it should be semi-difficult, but not too crazy to get. Even if you guys have to wait, I would check Facebook Marketplace, I would check your local sneaker store, and I don't think that these will be going for too much. The upper of the shoe consists of that beautiful patent leather. That's what sets the shoe off from a lot of the Air Jordans. A lot of people like using this shoe to dress up, so you're gonna see people wear this to like proms, weddings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I remember back in high school, I used to think that was the dopest thing to do, but now that I'm older, I would just wear a pair of dress shoes. I know 
know some people wore these for their wedding. Coming up to the top part where we usually have mesh on an Air Jordan 11, we have this nice white tumbled leather. Honestly, a lot of people were saying that they didn't like this hit. They wanted that mesh upper, but this upper right here is clean. I don't know if y'all had a pair of Jordan 11s before, but if you have white mesh on an Air Jordan 11, usually it ends up stained by either something that you drop on it, like a liquid, like coffee, or you end up getting some bleed from your pants. Like back in the day, a lot of people used to wear raw denims, like APC, Naked and Famous, uh, nudies. That's what I would wear with my Air Jordan 11s. And I remember this collar area would get stained blue from my raw denim. With this pair right here, since it's all leather on the top, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Leather usually lasts a very long time. It's really one of those durable materials. So I like seeing that leather right there and it's not a bad quality leather either. We also have the gold Jordan Jumpman hit right here on the ankle as well as the gold 23 on the back. A lot of the DMP 11s that are out there are starting to have Jumpmans that are cracked. So when I see this, I'm like, okay, you don't have to spend $600 for them DMP 11s. You can get this pair right here for 230 bucks on the resale market. That is fire moving along to the insole you're gonna get a black insole with the gold 23 this is a size 12 right here that the fix kicks let me borrow so huge shout out to the fix kicks i have a link down below to their store they're gonna be doing a black friday sale so if you guys want to support make sure you shop with them oh this wouldn't be a air jordan 11 review if i didn't do this Come on, man. Come on, man. And also this carbon fiber shank at the bottom is gold flakish. It's not our typical carbon fibre. Has that gold look to it. I think it's a really good look. I don't know, man. I don't get how someone could hate these shoes right here. Again, if you've been collecting shoes for over 10 years, you already know the hype with the Air Jordan 11s. The 7210 sold out. The Legend Blue 11 sold out. The Jubilee 11 sold out. I think right now is a great time to be a sneakerhead, especially if you're trying to get some of those classic looking Air Jordans. I wouldn't say this is a classic colorway, but you know what I mean. If you're trying to get a pair of 2018 Concord 11s, I believe they're about like 400 bucks right now, which is crazy. Or if you wanted the DMP 11s, they're going for like 600 bucks. So something that comes out like this, where it's a nice alternative, for a fraction of the cost. It's something that's dope for me. It's dope to see that kind of stuff. Cause I remember when I was younger, there was a point where I wanted so many different shoes and they were just way out of the range that I wanted to spend. But now these days, when I get those nostalgic vibes from a sneaker like this, where I know back in the day would have been super tough to get, it just means a little bit more for me. I don't know if y'all get that vibe or I don't even know if you guys understand where I'm coming from with this, but people lost their lives over an Air Jordan 11. And it usually happens almost every single year. And it's sad to say that hopefully this year with the amount produced, that doesn't happen. Um, I wish I could throw these on feet for you guys, but this isn't my pair like I mentioned, but my pair is coming very soon. So probably in the next week or so, I'll do an updated video just on feet with a whole bunch of different pack combinations. So you guys get an idea of it. But yeah, honestly, I'm just freestyling this video, chilling at the park by myself. The inside of the box says, thank you in gold. Ooh, ooh. And the paper says thank you in a whole bunch of different languages. So that's pretty cool. But let me just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the DMP 11s that I have right here. This is a dead stock pair. So these came in a pack with the sixes. Let me just bring them out here. Bring them out, bring them out. Come on guys, come on. A $600 shoe, a $230 shoe. It's beautiful. It's nice to see it. You could tell they're very similar. The outsole again is a little bit different. On this pair, it was a clear translucent sole and this one's that milky sole that we talked about. Similar to the 7210 Air Jordan 11s. You see that upper? Mesh on one side, leather on one side. Which one do you guys dig more? I'm going for this one, honestly. Oh, and we can't forget the infamous third spacing on the tag. I remember back in the day, if you had a fake Air Jordan 11 pair, this tag wouldn't line up on the third spacing. So it would either be like up here or a little bit down on the second space. So that's how you would tell if Air Jordan was fake or not 
But these days, the fakes are even getting so good that they're lining up perfectly. But that's a topic for a different video. Let me know what you guys think about the Gratitude Air Jordan 11s in the comment section down below. Personally, for me, obviously, this is going to be a cop and I'm going to rock these. I wouldn't say this is a double up. I haven't had a double up in a very, very long time. I'm talking about years but this one is a must cop right now for the holiday season again let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below once again huge shout out to fix kicks for letting me borrow these pairs right here to do the review for you guys i have their instagram and their website down below in the description y'all be safe out there have a beautiful thanksgiving and i'll see y'all very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out peace Shh.